Hello again, fellow podcaster, and welcome back to Pod Theory. I'm your host, Jason Sircone, and today we're going to take a look at the best podcasters are. I think it's safe to say that all of us as podcasters strive to be the very best at what we do. If you don't aspire for that, you should probably take a minute and revisit your podcast why. The only way you're going to accomplish that is if you keep getting better at what you do. When it comes to hosting, the podcast spectrum runs the gauntlet from great to good to just getting started to not really in it for the right reasons and therefore just don't care. And because there are close to 2 million podcasts with personalities delivering their content in unique ways, there are a lot of templates at your disposal for learning new approaches, honing your delivery, and ultimately becoming the best podcaster you can be. And in that, there are several qualities that all top podcasters possess. Let's take a look at a few of those right now. The best podcasters are exuding personality. Having that engaging trait is a critical element to your podcast. Now, of course, this comes across in different ways for different people and should be congruent with the type of content you're sharing. Connecting with your audience is key. And a podcaster that lacks personality will never be able to make that crucial connection that keeps the audience coming back for more. The best podcasters are creative. Don't let anyone fool you. It takes a lot of creativity on multiple levels to produce a quality podcast. From cover art, to show notes, to episode content, to marketing and promotion, podcasters need to possess that creative gene if they want their show to take off and continue to grow over time. The best podcasters are open-minded. With podcasting, there are always new tips, strategies, tactics, equipment, and approaches coming into play. To keep yourself evolving and on the cutting edge, keep your ear to the street and learn about everything that lands on your radar. You may find that some of the information you uncover is not for you and won't work on your podcast. But, on the flip side, you may discover something that changes the game for you 100%. If you produce your podcast with tunnel vision, you may miss the next big idea that takes your show to the next level. Keep an open mind, and don't rule anything out before you evaluate it. The best podcasters are never satisfied. If I hit a million listeners per episode, the first thing I'd ask myself is how do I get to 2 million? You always have to be looking for ways to make your show an absolute powerhouse. Don't get complacent when you hit your goals. Move the goalpost on yourself and strive for more. The best podcasters connect with other podcasters. There's a lot to be learned from your podcasting brethren. And as I mentioned at the top of the show, there are a lot of podcasters out there all building their shows and establishing their brand authority in unique, innovative ways. Find ways to connect with these people. Reach out to them and have a conversation. Find them in podcasting groups on Facebook or in conversations on Twitter. There are millions of us with the mission of building a great podcast. Let's help each other out as much as we can along the way. The best podcasters don't get hung up by slow starts. When you're getting your podcast off the ground, seeing low download numbers can be discouraging and may make you want to pack it in. But pay those numbers no mind. Building a podcast is a long-term content strategy, and expecting to get thousands of listeners just because you have a podcast is never going to happen. If you keep your eye on your purpose and focus on delivering engaging episodes every time you publish and promoting your podcast effectively, the numbers will eventually fall into place. And finally, the best podcasters, wait for it, are consistent. I preach consistency on just about every episode of Pod Theory, and the best podcasters are consistent with everything. Their preparation, their format, their delivery, their production quality, their release schedule, their marketing. Everything that builds their podcast, they approach it and they attack it with consistency. Make sure you do that every single time. And that's going to do it for this session of Pod Theory. If you're looking for a great way to spark the conversations on your podcast, you need to check out Poddex today. 
Pod decks will instantly give you creative ideas to boost your content on your show, and you can save 10% off your order at poddex.com if you order today. Just use the promo code PODTHEORY at checkout to take advantage of this offer. The offer is one use per customer and only valid on physical pod deck products. Check out poddex.com, that's P-O-D-D-E-C-K-S dot com to learn more. And again, use promo code PODTHEORY to save 10% on your order. Good talk. I'll see you back here tomorrow. This has been Jason Sircone on Pod Theory.